What is going on, lunatics? The IBC connection to osmosis is being voted on right now to re-enable. And if that happens, the question is, will the Luna Classic price reach $3 per coin? And we're going to tackle that today. Plus, uh, we're going to talk about the repeg and the obstacles facing the repeg before we get to that moment. And then finally, we're going to talk about somebody who's actually burning a lot of tokens. And they rank pretty well if you go to Lunk Metrics. So um, put on your seatbelt, kids, because it's about to get sticky. Okay, first, uh, we've got breaking news. Lunk price to reach $3 soon. Why are we looking at $3? Well, uh, we're talking about the IBC reconnecting with the Osmosis Protocol, which will reinstate transfers between the two chains. Now, uh, Proposal 12104, known as Reactivate Osmosis IBC, is currently under consideration on the station wallet. This proposal introduced by developer Frag Verdig uh, is a, I hope I said that right. If I didn't, my bad. Uh, who is a former core development team member, aims to re-enable inter-blockchain communications between Terra Classic and Osmosis. Uh, the proposal has received overwhelming support, 96 voting in favor so far. Small contingent oppose it, no with veto. We'll go look and see. Voting deadline set for May 25th. Uh, Lunk Goblin, Moon, Valet, Moon Rabbit, Moon Runners have all endorsed the proposal, highlighting its importance for the network. Uh, upgrading the IBC client uh, to Tendermint uh, 250 is necessary to keep the IBC relay operational up to date. Substantial community support. Of course, collectively, the community has done 113 billion tokens since 2022. That's not a lot, by the way, considering the amount that we have, the sheer volume of tokens that we have and what's trading right now. However, while these efforts support the potential price appreciation, predicting a specific target such as $3 involves considering broader market factors, investor sentiment, and overall demand uh, for Lunk. Although the burns are a positive step towards price stabilization and potential growth, reaching $3 would likely require sustained demand and further reduction in supply alongside favorable market conditions. Now, how do you get favorable market conditions? You get a bull run. How do you get um, uh, reduction in supply? Well, that that's a little more complicated. Now, um, there's the proposal. It, it looks like it's going to pass. Uh, as you can see here from uh, Lunk Dash, this is who's voted yes and nobody's voted no so far. So um, in a good position, if you will, for approval so far, a lot of big names are out here already voting yes. So uh, progress getting ready to happen. Uh, you might notice that um, uh, some of the familiar faces that you know are bad actors for some reason haven't voted. So not sure what's up with that. But so, um, and then uh, these are the, the meme tokens. Uh, as you can see, guys, ridiculous increases over here. Uh, 21, uh, we got a 21 X here from S C U S T. Uh, we've got a, uh, we got a 12 X here from, I'm sorry. We've got a 200 X from S C U S T. Uh, we've got a, uh, 1200 X, uh, or 120 X from C Luna, uh, 67 X from burn, uh, 550 X from Lazar. So plenty of different meme coins popping off right now, but the important thing that will, uh, that, that will fix or unfix or, uh, you know, call it what you will, is what we should talk about the most. And that is uh, this terrible production. Now, of course, I'm going to uh, encourage you to go to Commonwealth if you want to see you know, what this is. But um, going down here, it, it points out something very, very, very important. The main issue uh, of any repeg initiates was the centralized exchanges not cooperating. So we're going to need cooperation from centralized exchanges or we're going to have to figure out a way to continue the vibrance of the Luna Classic community. And uh, we're, we're going to have to figure out a way to transfer that on-chain from Binance, from Weeks. Uh, if you haven't already signed up for Weeks. Uh, Batera Casino, which does a lot of burning, or all these different places that, that actually do a lot of burning. It's got to be centralized into um, th this, this pairing working back and forth again and for that basically we need binance that's really what it comes down to is getting binance aboard if we can do that then this thing is going to work out just fine uh, but if we don't do that then we had no shot so uh the question of course would be you know how do we deal with this and how do we do that and i don't have the answer for that right now uh, i am thinking about it i think there's a lot of people that are really kind of considering how to get uh something positive out of it but and, and we'll keep you updated I, I assure you it's being worked on uh, there are people who are are diligently trying to figure out a way uh to make this happen also um uh, 12103 did pass so all nodes is now in charge of all the reporting so we'll get accurate reporting 
going forward pretty soon. You can see right here, circulating supply, all of this, uh, there will be a verified data. Um, and, and, you know, I, again, we'll, we'll, it'll be verified data across the board and we'll be able to see exactly what's going on there. Uh, as far as price action goes, you know, guys, I told you that I thought that there would be a breakout, that there would, you know, this would be the run right here where we would experience resistance. And what happened? Uh, we wicked out above it and then rejected, came back down into range. And now we're just kind of trending sideways, but we're still within that area where I said we're going to end up kind of ripping into this, you know, getting a big pump, right? And I think that if you look and grant here that, you know, what I keep telling you guys is happening is happening. If this breaks, if this, and this is USTC, by the way, if this breaks above and we actually get a significant sort of bounce and retest over here, then... You know, I think that's going to be significant and that's going to cause a big rally over here on Luna Classic. Now, uh, as of right now, 14 million in volume, which means that, you know, trading is way, way down. A lot of people are into the DGEN communities and they're into the shitcoin plays. So I uh, can't do anything about that. Uh, same thing over here, down to 5 million in trading volume per day. You know, we're seeing a lot of struggling out of the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem, but that belies the fact that there's a lot going on underneath the hood, if you will. Uh, Lunk Metrics. Burn tracker shows 253 million have been burned over a period of time right here, last seven days. It's not significant, not a lot. However, it is something. Uh, however, uh, where are they burning? Who's burning? Well, cremation coin. So if you haven't already, uh, there's Lenny Lunk and there's cremation coin. And this burn tracker right here will tell you the top 100 burners. And when you start to go down this list, then you're going to find right outside of the top five right now is cremation coin. So all this time, uh, it's burned 444 million tokens. And how does it burn tokens, you might ask? Well, I'm glad that you asked because I'm going to answer you. If you come over here and you donate to a burn, if you, if you donate, uh, say, 100,000 tokens just to a burn right now, you're going to receive 949,750,000 Lenny Lunk coins. And then cremation, you're going to receive 47,487,500. Now, of course, going into Coin Hall, you're going to look at price action. You want you want to see some nice price action. And by the way, if you were to go to Terraport.finance, you can trade uh, these tokens at any time. Uh, in fact, there's Cremation right there, uh, and then there's Lenny Lunk right there. So, uh, and by the way, I have a uh, thousand Terra worth of Lenny Lunk, uh, 187 thousand uh, worth of Lunk in in my Lenny Lunk. So, you know, I am a holder. Uh, for this, and you can see here from the price action, you know, just kind of meandering uh, uh, around. It's not, you know, you look at depending on the the time frame in which you look, just kind of in range, if you will. Uh, not a big pump, not a big dump, nothing like that. Just kind of consolidating, extended consolidation on this chain, as there's not a lot of activity, as these numbers over here, fourteen point seven million and five point eight million indicate. But uh, back to cremation, cremation. Uh, you go to lunkburn dot app, and you burn Lenny. Uh, you burn Lunk uh, and daily maximum wallet burn of 5 billion, collective daily total burn of 250 billion. Uh, burners don't lose any of their holdings. Uh, burn Lunk and receive generous rewards from cremation and lending. So, you know, very simple process over here. You want to burn a little bit of Luna Classic, go burn a little bit of Luna Classic. Uh, if you do a million, you get 9.4 uh, billion tokens and 474 million. So, uh, if you want to burn, then go burn. Now, if you're looking for cremation, it's going to be at cremation underscore coin on X. That will take you both to cremation coin and that will get you to Lenny Lunk, which is at Lenny, L-E-N-N-Y-L-U-N-C. Same developer on both of these. And again, I am a holder, so uh, I'm, I'm part of it. I'm not part of the team, but I'm part of that network. So uh, if you were interested in that, certainly go check it out. If you're interested in burning some tokens uh, or, or coins from Luna Classic, then that's a great place for you to go do it. And when the bull market hits, and it will hit, then, you know, what if this thing 10x, 20x, 50x, 100x? There are some very exciting plans coming for Cryptonomy VIP users. Make sure that you're signed up to the Cryptonomy Telegram. Follow the Twitter account for rewards and prizes. There's going to be extensive promo programs and giveaways for all Cryptonomy VIP users. Also, I've uh, introduced a unique opportunity for users to evaluate the platform's performance and share your personal experiences. So if you are looking to do that, your comments can be posted on cryptonomy.finance slash reviews. You guys know what I've been saying. 
you know, I think XRP is about to have a moment. So we're going to make a deposit over here. Uh, we're going to do 10,000 XRP right now. We're going to stake that for, we got another 12 months. So we're going to put that in there, 120.7% APY. We're just going to stake this long-term. Scheduled amount is going to be 12,075 XRP on the way out. Uh, the yields continue. The launch pool, TARS protocol did a 13X. Xverse, remember, did a 4X. Blade Swap did a 5X. Uh, these guys are finding really good projects, putting them out there for you. So make sure you sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. How much would it be then? And how much could you have made or would you have made if you had just been part of whatever you know big thing over here is going on? I know there's some of you out there with billions of tokens, billions of tokens. And do your share. I can't tell you what to do, but cremation will give you a reward in both cremation and Lenny Lunk. And the team works pretty hard as this, uh, as we rebuild and as this gets more and more exposure, then guess what? It's only going to be up from there. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content if you would. And uh, remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. You guys have a good day and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.